Good day, viewers. I'll right, take this in the microwave, finish it off. Hopefully, it gets a nice plasma shooting off it. Okay, viewers, the uh, DSL the line filters in there, the splitter. Let's see how much bandwidth we get. Mega download speed for this thing on. Three, two, one. Hang on, put a ton of PowerPoint on. Okay, let's commence nuking. Three, two, one. Warming up. No, oh, that's disappointing. No plasma. Good bandwidth for me, I should be getting bloody. I should be able to upload a 10 minute HD video in like two seconds now. And that's good bandwidth. That's a nuking national broadband network for you. Alright, power off. Unplug safety first. Bit of a smoky mess. Not even know the circuit board burn either, only part of it did. Hmm, capacitor's all nuked in half there. Another one popped. Oh, well, it didn't pop. Interesting, I tried this, it got nuked. So you can get a good bandwidth out of these, but it generally doesn't last long. Toasty. We extracted most of the copper off the PCB as well. There's a transistor. Let's find some other stuff I could pop and nuke. I was going to do some nuking to earth today. This is uh, very, very, very careful what you're doing. Don't try this unless you're competent. So, the uh, usual ballast setup. Uh, I use a smart meter to see how much um, what the power factor and everything is. Let's uh, zap stuff to earth. I've got some capacitors I want to pop using this method. So, I'll set the tripod and everything up here. Let's see if I get a good shot. Sounds pretty good. Alright, that looks pretty good. There's my capacitors almost quite literally planted, ready to be popped. And let's see what we can uh, get some smoke to grow out of them. Alright, that's ready to go, that's ready to go. Get me chicken stick. Hang on. Yep, let's get nuking. Or uh, nuking, should I say, arcing. Yeah, the open circuit, I'm not going to do much. Oh, so I've got to be careful the step voltage potential set. Wear some thick rubber soled boots and keep the feet close together and use a highly insulated chicken stick. That one's gone. Incapacitated. And the all from these swell again. Yep, these caps are leaking to earth, quite literally. Actually, I've just shut this system, shut the setup down. 
power off, unplug safety first, very important. I've got an uh, auto darkening electronic uh, welding mask. I reckon that'd be perfect for this. Okay, this should do. Got the delay time set fast and high sensitivity. It's pretty much like an arc world I'm looking at, so this should work quite well to protect my eyes. Basically how it works, it detects the uh, world flash in this solar panel, and that's how it knows when to turn this uh, polarizer on. It's made by Powercraft, so not a bad little uh, helmet, this one. Pretty good. Plug this in. Power's on. Alright. Yep, working quite well. Don't know where the cap went. Oh, I thought it was There you go. Okay, pop. Okay, power off. Unplug safety first. The mask worked quite well. I could see where well I was aiming the stick and as soon as the arc got uh, struck it uh, shut off and protected my eyes. Worked quite well for that. Alright, now everything's unplugged. Pretty much the same as it normally would be as a normal load instead of a better slip down. Look at the other meter. Yeah, I'm pulling about five air. That meter's not accurate anyway. so there's a fair bit of moisture in it. It's 
convert itself to the ground. Finish that capacitor off. I think that's enough. I've pretty much tuttled that one. Power off. Unplug safety first. Yeah, this ballast setup works quite well. Been a while since I uh, did this sort of experiments, but be very careful when doing this. Always safety first. Take extra, extra precaution against high voltage and step voltage potential. So. Yeah, this one have changed the reading. Yeah, I reckon the power factor would have been one. The wattage probably would have been about nine, uh, 900 to a kilowatt, I reckon. Either way, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.